Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome back in to our series on Farm Sim 23, Farming Simulator 23. That's right, the mobile version for Farming Simulator here on the Nintendo Switch. Guys, we have been grinding away a little bit here. You can see my equipment's looking a little bit dirty. We've been grinding away, trying to make a bit of money, trying to upgrade some stuff, and um, the grind is real. Let's go with that. So we are on Amberstone, of course, and uh, yeah, we have not upgraded our farm really for the most part. We do have three fields still that are just out behind here. We have our three tractors. We have bought a few extra pieces of equipment that you don't get to start with. We haven't sold anything off. That might change all today, though. So after grinding for about a year, I would say, we've done probably four harvests, maybe four harvests on these four fields that are back over here and then just over that little hillside there. I have well, managed to make a little bit of money. I've got quite a bit of crops, actually, inside the silo right now that we're not going to sell until probably December. But I do need to... Um, I need to upgrade things to make things go a little bit smoothly. I've been trying to figure out what the best upgrade path for us is going to be. I mean, we do have a chicken coop up here. We, we could maybe focus on that. But the problem is, once again, our eggs, they show up in pallets, guys. So I, I'm going to need to invest in, well, something that can pick up pallets, like a forklift or a telehandler. And then I'm also going to need some kind of a trailer to transport those, those pallets with. That's going to be a little bit expensive. I mean, I've also considered buying like another plot of land for this farm. Because we don't have huge fields. You can see there's fields down below. I could buy some stuff over on this side that's a little bit bigger. But, I mean, we're looking at probably about $100,000, at least $200,000, somewhere in that range for a decent-sized field. Not ideal. Especially when we're we're kind of working with pretty low-tier equipment, guys. I'm telling you, pretty low-tier. I mean, look at the look at the cedar. Like, we need to upgrade this. I think that's really what, what's going to happen. Now, what I've done so far, let me tell you quickly about what I've... Well, so far I've upgraded at least. Actually, you know what? Let's um sleep through the day and we'll 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 tell you what we've upgraded in on in September. Because that's when we can actually use some of that stuff. Alright, I'll see you guys in September. Uh nighty night. There we go. Sleep time. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Alright, so there we go. Nine o'clock, September first, September month. <laughs> we're gonna jump in and uh Start taking care of some of the stuff that uh, that needs to happen to these crops. You can see we've got crops coming up now, which is kind of nice. I currently have canola planted on all my crops. I've done some sorghum as well. I'm trying to stay away from the the uh, grain crops where we can bale because we haven't bought a baler yet. But there is a problem. You guys can see, well, I've got weeds. I've got weeds to take care of. So that's one thing I do need to take care of. And secondly, they need to be fertilized as well. So we got to take care of the weeds and we got to fertilize the crops. And that, we don't get equipment to start with. We had to buy some of that stuff. So and that's something we've done. We've got a Amazon spreader, fertilizer spreader. And uh, yeah, we'll use that to fertilize our crops to start with. So let's take the 3670, one of our two 3670s, I might add. And uh, let's go take that on out. There we go. Fires it on up. What do we got? We got half left in here. Should be enough, I think. Should be enough to get through this field. And we'll just head to the far side here and uh, let's drop, drop some fertilizer down. It'll be pretty close. We might need to refill. Might not. We'll see how it goes. Now, it is interesting. There are two fertilizer spreaders. There's this particular one, a bumper mount or a three-pin three, three pin, uh, hitch mount. Uh, on the back of this uh, this Massey, we have this one. There's also a pull-behind, a Bredal pull-behind, I believe. And uh, this one does have a larger, I guess, swath of a larger spread. I think it's 42? Is it 42? Something along those lines. It's quite, it's quite large. So this one here will spread quite a bit farther. But, of course, it holds a lot less than the, uh, the, the trailer fertilizer spreader. So it, it has a bit of a, um, a benefit, but also a negative to it, I guess. You can see, like, we're getting a really good spread on this. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, see, look at that. We're just going to keep on going. I'm going to skip right through and keep on going straight down to the bottom of the second field. I might even go around and do the third field while we're at it. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, guys, if you missed our first episode here on this, we did a bit of a preview of what to expect. Showed off all the menus here in Farm Sim 23. If you guys want, want to see that, go click on the card up at the top right-hand corner, or you can check the channel video page. You'll see that right on the main screen there. But yeah, this is Farming Simulator 23. We're still in preview. Technically, well, time of launch for this. This game releases May 23rd. We're still in a preview build. Things might change. It's always possible. Just be aware of that. All right. Last little pass here. That should pretty much do it. You can see we're almost out of fertilizer. Not a problem. Just get up to the top of this hillside, and uh, that's the end of fertilizing. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, talk about the other thing I had to go buy. Ugh. So this one will, of course, help our crops grow, like I said, but we need something to help get rid of, well, the weeds that will kill our crops. And that's where we got this hardy from, this hardy attached sprayer. And this is not for fertilizing at all. You can only spray weeds with your sprayers in Farm Sim 23. 
the fertilizer is not for lime or anything it's just for fertilizer so if you want to put fertilizer down you need a spreader like this if you want to kill your weeds you need a sprayer like this kind of interesting they both also have like a pull behind version and one attach one pull behind that's what they put in base game so interesting nonetheless let's uh drop this uh this amazon back here in the shed for now we'll just put this here and drop it right there perfect and we'll go attach the sprayer you'll notice that also we get the the front tank with this with the spreader we got what a weight now we get a front tank automatically kind of like that it's kind of a nice way of doing that and keeping it simple i guess now you can see we're a little low as far as the amount of herbicide we have currently in the tank so i'm gonna go fill that up while we're back at the farm here let's just pull up behind our main farm and we can hit our x button and fill this up you can see we can't change between anything else herbicides the only thing we can put in here of course i'm gonna fill this up it's gonna be a little bit of money unfortunately but it's okay it's not the end of the world we'll kind of push through this all right three thousand bucks in herbicide all right same thing we did before just go to the end of the field and uh we'll spray some herbicide down on these weeds shall we all right we'll unfold the sprayer let's see how big is this one i think it's it's actually a good size i'm not sure if we'll ever need to upgrade to the pull behind uh, this holds a decent amount of herbicide and it's a fairly good size, so I don't know if I really need to do that. Look at that. That's a that's a oops. That's a decent size sprayer right there. Now as soon as it unfolds, it's going to turn itself on. And we can just start spraying these weeds. Get right up the edge there. There we go. That's better. And you can see as we drive over top, the weeds just die off. And uh yeah, we got a fully fertilized and fully weed destroyed crop now, which is perfect. From here on out, guys, we can just kind of wait until It'll be a probably like, what, October? It'll be November, I guess? Maybe it might even be December by the time we can harvest this canola. Yeah, unfortunately, the months don't match up with the actual harvest seasons of this. There's no crop calendar like you'd find in Farm Sim 22, like we've stated in the past. You can just plant and harvest and plant and harvest in Farm Sim 23 as you as you wish, basically. So, um, yeah, the, the, you're going to find the foliage will change as we move through fall here. But it does not make a difference uh, as far as your crop calendar goes. So you can harvest and plant whenever you need to. So we'll probably be about December, I bet. Maybe November? We'll probably December, I bet, we'll be harvesting. Oh, yeah, getting all those weeds. Perfect. One more pass down these fields, and that's it for that. All right, that should about do it for that. Let's fold this thing on up. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to go now, guys. We're fully har harvested. We're fully, or fully harvested. We're fully herbicided. We're, we're fully fertilized. We'll take a look at the menu here, and I'll show you exactly how it looks. But... Everything looks pretty good. I'm, uh, we'll get another good harvest off. This will be at least the third canola harvest I think we've done off this. So here we have our farm with our three fields. You can see we've got canola planted on all three of those. Do I have wheat on anything? Why is the wheat grayed out? Anyways, that's fine. There we go. Uh, if we select over, we can see our growth is at, well, first stage still. Our soil composition currently is, well, fully fertilized. We obviously missed a little bit with our weeds, it looks like. Uh, it is what it is. I must have missed a little bit there on field three especially. But anyways, one thing is I do need to plow these, it says. If we get rid of the weeds, they need to be plowed. So that's something I, I need to figure out how we're going to do that. I don't have the equipment to plow anything yet. But just be aware, I should be plowing my fields, it looks like. Now currently in my silo, I'm sitting on a little bit of canola. We do have some sorghum as well. You can see the prices there. They're pretty good. I considered also going in to do some soybeans. Where's my beans down here? The prices are a little bit better for beans, but I, I from what I've seen, it you get more of a profit off the canola. Canola prices are similar. You get higher yield off the canola, it looks like. Let's see where's the beans gone. Um, so just be aware of that. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm sticking with canola. The sorghum, like I said, we're getting a decent amount of of product off the field. It's not quite double, so I still think canola is the better bet when it comes to which crop to grab. Now, if we want to take a look at our, our price fluctuations, you can see, well, we're currently starting to rise, actually. We're in, what, September? So by November, December, that's going to be the best time to sell our canola. If we go down to our sorghum, same price. This January, once again, we'll try and sell that off. So I'm trying to hold on to both of those until these prices are maximized. That being said, like right now, What's our price for canola again right now? It was pretty close. It was pretty good. It was, yeah, 1800 bucks. It's going to max out at 2100 So really, not too bad. So guys, I'm going to pass through to maybe October, November. We'll see how it looks the next couple of days, and we'll discuss how we're going to proceed from here. All right, back to bed. Well, we're in November. We've got the yellow flowering in the canola fields. I also have a great demand at Feed and Grain North. What's our prices look like? Did it make that much of a difference? I mean, our canola and our sorghum, yeah, they're going for a little bit more than what they normally go for, but interestingly enough, beans they're up to 2100 as well so really 
not much worth with the soybeans, guys. I think canola is really where it's going to be at for me. It goes for the same price. You get a little bit higher higher yield. So we've been kind of, um, we've definitely been grinding the canola, that's for sure. Now, I also haven't thought about, or haven't forgot about, sorry, the, the oil mill. Maybe we should buy an oil mill and start making canola oil. We could do that as well. That's something to consider, but I don't have the finances to buy that yet. We can't take out a loan or anything, unfortunately. So we're stuck kind of grinding away for a little bit here. And I think we need some better equipment still, but nothing I can do today. Our fields are still in tip top shape. Let's uh, wait till next month and see what happens. All right, December is here and we can actually get into harvesting. It looks like our canola fields are ready. So I'm gonna actually start hiring workers. We're gonna hire a bunch of workers and go through this, how we have it. I've been spending money on workers, about a thousand bucks probably per harvest. So yeah, that's that's kind of a thing, I guess. But at the same time, it's not that much in for, for what it does for us. I mean, we can get the top liner out here. We're gonna prep this. I'll show you the, the, the loop we've been doing, the grind we've been doing, because it's it is fairly efficient, I find, but at the same time, it's um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I'd like to have some bigger equipment because it, it's it's all about the time, right? So let's bounce this harvester, the combine, get it into the field, and we're gonna hire a worker right off right out of the chute here. Get going, perfect. All right, that's taken care of. We'll let them go harvest this canola. Perfect. Now that that combine is gonna take a while to fill up, so we got some time here. We get the forty-seven fifty-five, which we haven't driven a whole bunch to be honest, because. It's been our tillage machine. We're gonna go behind that combine right away and uh, start tearing it up and get it prepped for the next planting season right away. No messing around. As Soon as that combine's gone, we can put this right behind it. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna follow behind basically and harvest as it goes. And once again, we'll hire a worker. We have this small, tiny little cultivator behind it. Once again, this is all pretty much starting equipment for us. So um, yeah, that is that is what it is. It's just, we don't have the finances yet to go to town and buy some decent stuff, but it goes pretty quick. It'll follow up behind it, and we'll go on to the next, which we'll be planting. Now, once again, we have this, this planter that's a little bit old school. It's a little small. Uh, we could fill this with more, but I think we're good. We got lots of seed. We're gonna stay with the canola. And I'm just gonna wait until that com or, or the, uh, the John Deere makes it back up here, and we're gonna follow right behind and start planting right behind it. Yeah, it's gonna be the exact same loop. It's about the same size, but the, the harvester actually gets a, gets a, a way on us, it seems like. so. Just doing the math on how fast the, the harvester goes, I think what we need to upgrade, guys, is maybe our planting method. I think the planting, if we can get like a direct drill and not have to cultivate first, I think that's maybe where we, we go first. Maybe that's our first upgrade. That's still a lot of money, though. I'm not going to lie. It's still scary. And now that our uh, our cultivator is far enough ahead, I think we can just side a worker up and, uh, yeah, tell him to go and start planting for us. Once again, I could do all the planting myself. I'm feeling kind of lazy and... It's gonna take them a little bit to get through this. What you're talking, these tiny little planters, this little cedar we got going here, guys, it, it takes a little bit of while. So we'll let them go for a bit. I'll catch up with you once that combine's eh, almost full. It's gonna take probably about the, the half the next field at least. See you guys in a bit. All right, first field's uh, done. Looks like we're, oh, we're catching up with planting as well. Cultivating's happening, everything's looking good. Harvester's moved on to the second field. We're gonna see if we can pull what we can out of the harvester right here. Come on. Easy does it. There we go. And we'll take that canola. Perfect. And that should be enough. As soon as we get to the end here, we should have enough uh, for this harvester to get to the end of this field as well. Just kind of plan that out the way we want. Right to the end. Should be full pretty much. Good. There we go. Excellent. Worked out perfectly. Let's go dump this off in the silo. Now, this canola is not going to last in the silo for too long. We're going to be selling all this off today. Like I said, this gameplay loop of... Of, of harvesting and then replanting. This is probably the fourth or fifth time we've done this now. So um, it's time we, I'm hoping we can advance this and find some better equipment. Uh, this this base equipment is, is definitely a little lacking to say the least. Now, while they're all working away in the field, we can almost get behind and put a level of fertilizer down in this field that's being planted right now. We can almost come right behind that and fertilize as they go. So I'm gonna come here, grab the fertilizer spreader. We're gonna refill this as well. You guys might remember it was almost empty. So we should probably refill that as well. Grab that. Weight comes on the front and uh, let's go fill this up. Yeah, we're getting low on money again, unfortunately. That's uh, a bit of an unfortunate circumstance. I mean, we started off with $100,000, but money has been slow to come in. Let's say that. Uh, there we go. $140,000 now. That sucks. Oh, well, what do you do? Um, the grind is real. The, the grind is definitely real. So the planting is just about finished the uh, first field here. You can see the harvesters actually almost finished the second field. So really what we're coming down to, guys, is that uh, the planting takes longer than the harvesting does. 
that ends up being the slow point of our our gameplay flip or our flip here these field flips are definitely the planting so i want to find a solution for that now i think like i said if we found a direct drill then we don't need to cultivate so that means we might be able to get rid of one of the tractors like perhaps this massy we could probably get rid of that right we don't need to have this many tractors anymore if we're getting rid of one of the positions that might be the best bet that we can sell some equipment off upgrade because the the cedar i'm looking at is probably gonna be about a hundred thousand dollars maybe more yeah i need to i need to sell some stuff i need to liquid at some of my assets in order to make the money to to do this and well that's gonna allow us to do this a little bit quicker yes we're gonna have to do a few more of these flips in order to buy some more fields but i think maybe that's the best bet i don't know like realistically probably we could just go and buy another field but I kind of want to move along from some of this equipment as well. Yeah, the question really comes down to, can I tolerate using this equipment any longer? Should we keep on using this equipment or should I upgrade and just keep what we're doing, but with a little bit better equipment? And that's really the question. I mean, it still works fine. All this equipment does work. We, the, the loop is doing decent. Maybe we should just go and buy another field instead and keep the keep the ball rolling i don't know oh looks like the combine's almost full again let's go head over there and get ready to unload him yeah guys early game progression's interesting because like i said we're st i say early game but we've probably got six hours in of doing this now um trying to figure out what our best path for going forward is going to be i mean we have optimized our fields with getting rid of weeds and of course fertilizing so we've done those two we haven't plowed yet so plowing is one more thing i believe it's going to give us a little bit more yield but really in the grand scheme of things for what that's worth uh it seems pretty minor so eh, do i really want to focus on that or should we focus on like i said i think the best bet would probably be go to a bigger field that would definitely be one of the better bets however just being able to move through the planting season a little bit faster after harvest here because we can harvest fairly quickly as you can see we're we're almost done this field here meanwhile the planter back there is sort of the cedar is still just getting into the second field already now it seems to be lagging behind substantially that might be the best bet but like i said it's the same price really you can buy a field or you can buy a cedar relatively same amount of money yeah it's a bit of a toss-up i have to admit now there is one way we could have sped harvest up a little bit or the replant i guess we could have fertilized before the cultivator and, and planter came down um like i'm doing right now Th that being said then i've got to wait for the harvester to get far enough ahead that would make it so i could get both stages of fertilizing done well well right in the middle of the harvest here or right in the middle of the planting season i should say instead of doing it once it starts to grow i still have to come out in the fields anyways and spray herbicide to get rid of the weeds so this doesn't really make that much of a difference i find uh it's pretty minor so does it make that i don't know i guess i could do it that way but realistically like i said i'm gonna come out here and spray anyways i got lots of time in the uh the growing months to come out here and fertilize one more time so I, i'm not overly concerned about it what it comes down to we still got a ways like i'm waiting here for the, the combine to get through this field as you can see now but realistically as soon as this gets planted i could come right back out into this field put more fertilizer down and then it'd be fully fertilized i, I wouldn't have to worry about it anymore still it, that like how much time does that really save me a couple minutes here and there eh, not really worth it i don't think all right that should do it for the harvest let's uh, go dump what we got in the uh the back here it does show up a little bit in the back you can kind of see through the window we're gonna go drop this into the silo right now and we're ready to uh, i think oh, well we want to sell this month don't we we want to sell all of our products this month so let's get ready for that yeah prices aren't going to get much better than they are right now are they in we go drop that into the silo and uh, another successful harvest by this old harvester oh man i would love to i would love to get a better harvester but we're looking over two hundred thousand dollars for the next level we got a case harvester we could get up i think it's a 70 71 50 i believe uh, will be the next level and it's just it's so much more money guys so we're going to be stuck with this for quite some time this is not going to be an easy upgrade path so we are ahead of the game fertilizing that last field as well as time i think to start selling off some crops making a little bit of cash guys so we're going to hook up to our uh, our trailer here we're going to start pulling crops out of the silo system and starting selling stuff off i think is going to be the bet for now let's see what we got to start with i think the canola was probably one of the best prices so let's see what we got here grab that go down to the list we got canola and sorghum Let's start shipping it out and see what we got. Boom. And it goes. All right. Where are we taking this to? Well, fortunately, the best sell price is the South Mill. So that's uh, kind of convenient because it's the closest one, I think, to me as well. So we're heading down this direction. And then over that hill, there's a, a building way in the back corner there. The other one is up to the north uh, northwest. I think we're southeast, something like that. And be that direction there if we wanted to go to the other sell point. This one here is down in the bottom corner. Let's head in that direction and see if we can start selling this stuff off. 
It's not too far though. You can see that a grain silo off in the distance there. That's where we're going. We have a sheep farm here on the way. We can pick that up at some point. We've got the factories here. We got a milk factory, the dairy, the factory in Salt Point. It looks like right there. All right, so we have roughly, I think this holds, I can't even remember what the number is, holds 7,000 liters, something like that. It, it didn't say obviously on, on this screen. Uh, but we still have 30,000 left in the, the silo itself. So we still have a few trips to make with this. And this should help pay for um, a few new toys, hopefully, once we start selling other stuff off. I mean, we're back above where we were to begin with today. So that's a good sign, right? So guys, as we sell our products here, this kind of leads me into Clutch's tip of the day, actually. And that's make sure that you've got money coming in at some point before making a major purchase. So what I'm trying to say there is that if you're going to make a major purchase where you're going to probably maybe drain your bank account down to almost next to nothing, make sure you've got your crops all planted, that you've got ways of fertilizing and taking care of your crops uh, before that, just in case if you run down to nothing so that you've always got a way for more money to come into your bank account. Maybe not right away, but you're not going to be stuck and have like next to nothing and being forced to, um, I don't even know, beg for scraps. Always find a way to make sure you've got money coming in because there's no way of taking loans out in Farm Sim 23. So there's no contracts. You've really got to make sure you're prepped and ready to go. So if you end up draining your money like down to nothing, you want to make sure that at least you can go out and harvest something. Make sure you've you got fuel still in all your equipment um, and, and maybe some fertilizer and seed and that kind of stuff filled up in your planters and your fertilizers just so you're not stuck. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. There's my tip of the day for you. So that's it for the canola. We've got some sorghum to go get rid of next. You know what? I'm feeling kind of lazy. I think I may, I think I may get someone to do it for me. Yeah, let's hire someone. Let's try that. Now, first things first, best price for our sorghum is at the grain mill. So just keep that in mind. Feed grain north is good price as well, but yeah, the grain mill is the best, so we'll ship everything there. Great job. We've got it still loading the liver. We're going to the sorghum, going to, from the Pharma 400 to, we want the grain mill, right? That's the, the one we want. Grain mill. Where is that one? We just went by it. Grain mill. And we, of course, we have looping, no looping. These are your options there. We're going to start off with looping, and boom. Do your job. Now, I think we may actually... um go for a drive with him just to make sure everything's working out it's a bit of a trek i mean he's got to go all the way to like past well that hillside over there it's a bit of a drive so we're gonna make sure the first one works out well and that everything's going all right so we'll go for a bit of a drive guys oh boy we're getting raced here by priuses the priuses are racing us down the road um you know what the ai driver she wasn't gertie wasn't gonna let him get by that worked out pretty well <laughs> let's see if she tries to pass again that uh, was an interesting passing maneuver there. Got totally bunged up on the corner and then had to wait anyways. That was actually pretty funny. Or they're probably turning here anyway, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, workers are doing pretty good here. Getting up to the north end, I guess, guys. This is actually decent. Our farm is way back over there. Workers driven here pretty flawlessly so far. And here we go. Dropping off our sorghum. Oh, is that? Oh, no, you made it. You made it. You made it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you did a good job. Well done. Guys, I'm impressed. Um... Once again, we could purchase this as well as a as a production point. But uh, yeah, right now we're just selling to it, making some extra money. And I think, well, we've made some money now. We'll be able to buy some new equipment here very soon. So let the workers be, I guess. I decided to take over the job from our, our cedar here, and I'm doing the work myself. You can see here comes uh, here comes our worker coming to pick up our next our next crop, our next load, I guess. Come pick up the rest of that sword gum. They got a little bit left to go, a couple more loads still, but... Uh, I love that. That's great. We got workers that are actually semi-intelligent-ish. Uh, yeah, they're they're doing what they need to do. Getting going to pick up our crops. I like that. That's a great job for them when it works well as well as it seems to work right now. I mean, look at this. Here they come, pulling it around, and uh, yeah, they're gonna fill up and then head back out again. Awesome. I love it. So, guys, we got the decisions to make uh, now that this is planted. I guess uh, we've got all our crops being sold off. We definitely have a few decisions to make here come the growing season. But I mean, really, we got we to gotta fertilize. We'll have to spray, of course. We just got to figure out what we're going to do after this. Now, like I said, I know some of you were saying even like baling. You like to see some baling get done. That's the problem with baling is we've got to buy a baler. We've got to buy a bale trailer as well because there's no other way to move the bales. And so you're looking at another 150000 bucks, probably a little less than that maybe, to get into baling. So it... it it doesn't make sense at this point in time to get into that until we start moving towards some animals i'm going to stay away from bailing i think on at least at this point in time so for now we're going to keep pushing with this i think and maybe find a way to expedite our planting that might be the best bet and we're just finished up selling off the last of our products here you can see uh, we got our worker bee coming out fields are good to go guys but um i got one more plan to make a bit more money i'm going to get rid of one of these tractors since we're going to buy like i said we're going to buy a new planter anyways a new cedar 
I don't need both Massies in my inventory sitting around doing nothing. So I'm going to get rid of this tractor here. We don't need it. I don't need to have this many tractors always on the go. And plus, I could probably use the money maybe to buy another field. That's kind of my hopes. I don't think we're going to have quite enough this, this go around, but it's going to be pretty close. It's going to be close. Now, you want to make sure you bring anything you sell back down to the, uh, the, the shop to sell it. You get 20% more by selling it here versus selling it just off the menu system. So definitely bring it back and sell it off here. So we'll bring it back into the dealership. And uh, yeah, Massey, it's been great, but it's time. We've already got two of you. We don't need, we don't need two of you. So let's get rid of them and sell this guy off. Boom. Yes. All right. Perfect. There, another 78,000 bucks. We're up to $262,000. We'll have a little bit more than that. We have a little, one more load or a partial load to go to uh, to sell point. And that's it for the selling season, guys. It's back to uh, back to the grind, I guess. So, guys, that's really the grind right there. That's exactly what you got to do. Uh, that's kind of what we want to show a little bit today is what you got to do when you first start off here as far as trying to make some money. Now, there are some other sneakier, easier ways of making some money. I didn't go through any of that. I don't plan on really talking too much about that because I know... Well, most of Farm Sim 23 is about the farming grind, and it's, it is pretty good, to be honest. Just be aware that the first couple of years, you've got to work your way through these fields to really make some money, and that's something... Um, yeah, it's not quite the same as in the full version of Farm Sim, to be honest with you. I feel like you have to do a little bit more grinding here in the mobile version to make uh, the same kind of cash. But let's uh, get in. We'll, we're going to continue this grind. we got to spray. That's first things first. Let's get the spraying down. Let's kill off all these weeds we got going on. Look at them all in here. Get out of here, weeds. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's satisfying. And then we're off spreading our second stage of fertilizer. That there is pretty much it, guys. You know, we harvest, replant. <laughs> I mean, what, what do you expect? This is what this is what the grind is of Farm Sim. And it works out fairly well. I mean, we're it's just a little bit more of a grind, I find. That's all. Like I said, we've gone through... I think the fact that we're doing multiple harvests per year has changed things a little bit as well. Uh, the fact we've done at least two harvests per year we're getting now this will probably be three on this one but uh, it seems like that makes it like a little bit more of a grind in some ways and then we are back to harvesting all over again oh man the grind is real here we go let's drop this in and away we go another harvest oh yeah yeah, yeah. let's get let's get going go away we go now of course this time we're going to change the grind up just a touch like i've been talking about this whole time this whole video we've been talking about how we're going to do this and this is where the things start to change. It's time to upgrade. Let's take the John Deere with the 4755. Let's go down to the shop. We've already sold off our cedar. We've sold off our our Massey. So it's time we bought a new a new cedar. Um, speaking of which, crops we could buy. Take a look at this. Uh, we got a whole olive field here, olive plantation, an olive field right here. We could eventually pick up. This field's probably going for about two hundred thousand bucks, mind you. And that looks painful, but that's there. There's grapes on the other side too, if you really want to go that way. So let's pick up our new cedar. Like I said, there's not a lot of options we have here. Of course, we had the uh, the Nordston beforehand. Now it's time to move up. I think, like, I could go with the Pottinger. We could move up potentially all the way to the Vatterstad here. I, I don't think I need to go up as high as the Amazon. That just seems like a little bit much. Plus, I don't have 300 horsepower in my tractor, so a bit of a problem. So really, Pottinger or the Vatterstad. Now, we're going to get an extra two meters of planting width with the Vatterstad. The, the the pottinger of course we can fertilize as well so take that into account now the vatter shots faster it's yeah six and one half dozen the other i think we're going to go with the the pottinger to start with guys that's going to be our best bet we're going to save roughly 50 grand actually does fifty thousand bucks exactly by going with the pottinger so let's go with that and there she is across the parking lot let's go hook on up shall we in we go and back on in now, the other nice thing about this particular one over what we were using beforehand, this is a direct drill, so I don't need to cultivate or anything beforehand either, which is uh, will alleviate the need of all the extra equipment, that extra tractor we sold off. This is going to make life just a little, just a touch easier, right? All right, back up across this, uh, the mountainside here, back to the farm. Of course, the other thing is we get seed and fertilizer out of this, so first stage fertilization will be able to happen with this, or potentially second, you no, know, just first, because we're not cultivating. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, let's fill this up with some seed. It's going to cost us a little bit of cash right there as we fill that thing on up. And as well, let's fill it with fertilizer. So seed and fertilizer going into the same unit. That's how you fill them up. Just pull on up and it gives you the option to do both. Harvester is doing its job still. Looking pretty good. We just spent 10 grand on seed and fertilizer. Um, we'll see. We should actually be able to be close to keeping up with them now with between this, uh, using this, this instead of what we were doing beforehand. 
This is really going to help out the grind, I think, for us guys. I'm really kind of excited for this in a way. It's just going to change the grind a little bit, I guess. But it's going to make life a little bit better, I think, in, in a couple of different ways. Uh, all right. That looks like she's on. And away we go. Uh, yep. Y yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's planting. I, I was wondering, it, was it planting? Yeah, it's planting. It's tough to tell in this light. But yeah, it's definitely uh, changing the soil state. There we go. We're definitely planting. Perfect. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for today, I think. Like I said, we're going to buy another field right away so we can actually make a little bit more profits, hopefully, and then move along and, and see what other kind of crops we can do. I, I'm still stuck with our couple of crops here while we grind through this. Uh, that's the only fields I'm kind of... St I'm stuck with three fields. I need more bigger fields, I think, to get going. I need to upgrade the harvester, of course. That's something we're going to have to consider finding a way of doing. And obviously trying to find better ways of making some money. So I'm thinking even potentially, like possibly going into some of the productions might be a great way of making better better finances. Maybe buying the oil mill, something along those lines. That might be something we can consider. But we're still a little ways away from that, as you can see, as we kind of push our way through this. So happy where we're at right now. This is going to help out. Seems like it's going pretty quick, this by, by comparison. I mean, we've already... There's two passes. That would be take four passes the way we were doing it beforehand. So this is going to make things a lot better. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you guys can catch us in the next video. Drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in our next video. Cheers to you guys. And we'll see you guys soon. This is Clutch. Over and out. Oh, boy. <laughs> so much grinding.